Today is a really exciting day. We're here at Matsura's open house event. Now Matsura have never had such a diverse selection of products on show in one location in the UK ever before. Looking around, what an event that you've created here at Matsura. What's been the mo main motivation behind it? Well, the main motivation was to do something obviously different and there's not many machine tool suppliers that sell additive product and CNC product, right? So, you know, one-stop shop. And what's been really, really good this week is that a lot of our CNC customers have come to be educated and made aware on the additive. And I think that's where the, the crossover is starting to happen. I still think that the CNC subtractive to, to printing isn't quite there, but it's really, really gathering momentum now and our CNC audience is really wanting to learn and understand and be made aware of what you can do with additive. And there's a real reason behind putting on this event that makes it stand out from anything that you've ever done before. Quite personal to you, isn't that? Dave Edwards, one of our uh, ex-colleagues, director of Matsura for many, many years, had a stroke in January and we wanted to do something for him and something for the Stroke Association and you know we've raised an enormous amount of money so far and we're still raising. Um, you know, go online, have a look at the uh, you know, buy tickets for the for the for the raffle, the raffle's huge. And whatever we raise, we're gonna double it. You know what Dom, it's amazing to see real life and business kind of crossing over because a lot of people would kind of pull away from that, but what you're doing is using everything that's happened and turned it into something I guess positive for the greater good? Absolutely and I think you know the idea when the three of us spoke about it back in January after Dave's um, episode was how can we bring our business, our community, our friends, our suppliers to do something good for a friend and for a charity that supports so many and I think you know, looking at the, the, the prizes that have been donated for our raffle, the amount of donation monies that have been donated from suppliers, customers and friends, overwhelming. They never thought we would achieve what we're achieving. In fact, I've been selling for donations <laughs> than, rather than machine tools, you know. But, well, hey, come on, you know, when you look at what's come in and what we're going to give and what we're going to do for our friend, the charity, and what it's done, it's actually given us a platform to get people to come and see us and talk about buying machine tools as well. I, I, my idea when I came up with it, I thought was a bit, but it's actually worked out a win-win, but a major win for the charity. I currently run a machine shop in Warwick. Um, we run multi-pallet machines, so obviously we're looking at a future expansion and that's all right, now is the way to go. As you've had experience with these machines, what really makes them stand out for you? Reliability. When I was running the KPIs, I was getting 165 hours per working week out of them, and obviously the three hours we use cleaning and general maintenance, so you get what you pay for. So what brings you here to the Matsura Open House event? So we're looking at some very CNC machines, and we already have a few of them, and always looking to expand our horizon, see what's possible, but also looking into the additive manufacturing space to see what's there, what we can do with it, what, what can we feasibly achieve with it. David, we're standing in front of the machines here that are all getting prepared for delivery. Three have sold your Muratec uh, MT series. Two are on the water, but what is it about these machines that make them so attractive for the UK market then? We're seeing a huge increase in Murata sales in now. Uh, the, because of the versatility of the machine, you can have a bar feeder on one end for conventional style uh, mill turn components. Mm -hmm. We've got a stocker on the other end for billet and loading and unloading. And we can also have shaft loading and unloading as well. So who's buying a machine like this then? People who have a diverse range of components, this is the machine for them. And if they want to be competitive in the market, then this is the machine they must consider. We're now standing 
standing in the additive side of the facility here at Matsura. Joe, you've had a busy day. What's kind of been the main thing that people are coming over to the additive for? So yeah, if you're talking about coming over from the CNC side of the business, um, I think predominantly the metal side of thing and also the high performance polymers is definitely of more interest to our uh, CNC customer base. So we've had medical companies in here, automotive companies, they're two very strong verticals for us. So you have, I mean, one of the guys that came in today, they basically restore um, classic cars. Yeah? So a lot of those parts are now obsolete. So what they're doing is basically reverse engineering it using scanning technology. Once they've got the file, they, they can then 3D print. The beauty about 3D printing is it allows companies like that to produce low volume uh, sort of one-off applications where it just isn't justified if you go through a tooling uh, process because prohibitively the, the tooling is expensive and I think that sometimes blocks people um, you know, coming to market with products because it's just too expensive. What 3D allows you to do is take a 3D printable file, send to print and it's a very cheap way to get a part in your hand. So it's not just for prototyping? No, I think the, the big shift for us and the reason why we've now got this dedicated facility is based around production. And we've got a lot of customers now. Well, I'd say 80% of customers are running production builds as opposed to prototyping. Daniel, what brings you to the Matsura Open House event then? Um, we recently purchased the Desktop Metal Studio 2. Um, so we've come along to kind of you know, further our um, experience with the Desktop Metal 2, get more, gain more information. Uh, we're using it for uh, to, to manufacture one-off tooling. Um, so Conventional machining um, is quite uh, uh, time consuming, a lot of setup time. Well, we, we wanted something which was much quicker, much smoother. We can literally model the tool up in hours, upload it to the desktop metal tool, and get it printed. Um, so, we're probably six months in with this journey now, so um, we're just really uh, enjoying the um, technology. We work in the aerospace industry, which is pretty strong in the UK. Um, some of the machine tools that we bought from you know, Matsura recently have really shown that the capability that we can you know, endeavour part-wise type of thing, open up more opportunities, so we're looking to expand. And I've caught you walking around the additive manufacturing site, why is this? Well, yeah, you know, I hear a lot about additive manufacturing. It's not something that my company works with at the moment, but we're, we're keen to learn more about it. I know it can offer great versatility, things like fixturing, very quick manufacturing fixtures, which can be costly for CMM machines, measuring, things like that, so, as well as even holding piece part for machining, maybe. I'm just keen to look and understand a bit more about it, really.